Pre-season continued for Bradford Park Avenue on Saturday as Hartlepool United visited Horsfall. Hartlepool brought their first team for the game, which included former West Ham striker Marlon Harewood. And it was that man who created the first chance of the game with a clever layer for Brad Walker who blazed way over. Joe Colbeck was a big threat throughout the first 45 and he gave Park Avenue their first shot on target. A fine solo run from his own half ended with a tame shot being completely saved by Scott Flinders. Howard again was causing problems for Avenue, firstly by charging down a John Maxted clearance and then shortly after when heading just over from a cross by former Park Avenue player and captain for the day, Michael Duckworth. The best chance of the half landed at the feet of Colbeck. A great flowing move from Avenue, which started with goalkeeper Maxted throwing the ball to Martin Drury, and within four clever passes, Colbeck was through on goal, but pulled his shot wide. Like the Doncaster game, John DC again fielded a new 11 for the second half, with the team playing in the new away strip. Unlike Avenue, Hartlepool waited till through the half to make their changes. The most notable change was former Chelsea man Michael Woods coming onto the field. The six substitutes had a positive impact on the game for Hartlepool as they began to dominate the game. However, Avenue continued to fend well with Jonathan Frank's shot being superbly closed down. Danny Frost appeared to be bundled over in the box for Avenue but referee Gareth Miller didn't reply to Avenue's appeals. The deadlock was finally broken when a long hopeful ball out of the Hartlepool defence was met by Darren Holden. Holden played a smart cross towards Franks who finished first time in the bottom right corner past the dive of Tom Morgan. That was Franks third goal in two pre-season games. For the remainder of the game Hartlepool continued to ask questions of the Avenue defence but were unable to break them down. It was another positive performance against the Football League side. The game ended at Bradford Park Avenue 0, Hartlepool United 1.